<laughs> okay. Super Sonic's one of the better games. So you know, to make myself feel like I'm still alive. You know, I might be retired, but not expired. Every day at a Safeway near UW, Joe Pace sits outside, striking up conversation with strangers. It makes me feel good because I'm missing being in a crowd playing basketball. You know, like 50,000 people, that's a lot of energy. And once you got the ball, their eyes is on you. One of seven siblings, Pace said he always wanted to find a way to help his mother. He didn't have no friends, no girlfriend. I wanted to learn how to play basketball. He taught himself to play and quickly became a star. After playing college basketball, he signed with the former NBA team, the Washington Bullets, in 1976. Basketball was my love of my life. I don't mean to brag, but it was so easy for me because I had a purpose. Back then, Pace says he was given a salary of $30,000. Today, Fox Business estimates the average NBA salary is $7 million. When we won the championship, I was through. I didn't have no more inside of me. It was gone. The Bullets won the NBA championship in Seattle in 78, but Pace says the celebration didn't last long. He was struggling with depression. He was drafted by the Celtics, but ended up walking away as his mother had a serious accident. And then there was this. In the NBA, they used a lot of drugs back then. Pace says he battled with addiction. He had a short stint playing basketball in Italy and then Argentina, where a botched back surgery led to serious issues. He said it left him unable to play or work. He moved back to the States in 92, where he found himself without a home. When you don't have no money, you got to do this panhandling. I couldn't really get into that, you know, begging for money. During the time he was on the streets, Pace says he eventually got sober and found low-income housing in Seattle. Great shot. But he's ended up developing serious health issues like diabetes, making his life even more challenging. And a lot of teeth start rotting, you know. And being homeless, you got to watch out what you eat, too. He's lost a majority of his upper teeth, which he says impacts him drastically. I don't even want to smile. I try to keep, like I got super glue on my lips. When... He can't chew anything and he says the shame and embarrassment is devastating, but he tries to focus on the good. He says it's not the life he imagined, but he manages to find the silver linings. Olivia LaVoice, Fox 13 News. So here's how you can help. A GoFundMe has been set up on Joe's behalf to help raise money for that dental surgery, which is pricey. He needs to replace his teeth. If you'd like more information, just go to our website, fox13seattle.com, and look for this story. And I know our viewers are going to come through big time. This guy does not deserve everything he's been through after so much spectacular activity on the basketball court, thrilling thousands of people. It's time for us to give back to him. Time to pick up the pace, yeah, right? Absolutely. Right.